hello guys in this video i am going to explain about how to handle the events in your bot mainly for team team events when is required what is the purpose of these events let's say for example if normal bot did you see that one function called on member added activity so if new member added to if new member you know join with your, uh, this conversation bot conversation so bot will uh, send a message like uh, in this example it will send hello and welcome like that in your teams if you go and add here this add member is there if you are adding the team, new team member bot send the information uh, maybe welcome message or what is the use of this bot something like that we have to give the you know bot ha bot have to give the information to the new user so this type of uh, you know um, scenario we have to handle the events there are three events one is a member added the uh, team members added and the team members removed and another one is a maybe uh, rename the team let's say if you want to rename the team right now i given here python bot in teams if you want to change the name edit team you can change the team name so if team name changer also maybe we uh, bot should handle it bot should inform okay or bot internally bot should handle some of the functionality so those time these events is required so now we are going to implement three events one is member added team member added second team member removed and third one is a team member sorry team renamed okay uh, before that i just give one more overview if you go to uh, app studio and uh, select our bot go to click edit and click the bot click this edit button while creating i said a scope personal team group chat actually what is this if you enable this one your bot can handle all the you know all the three scope for example if you if you don't want to team you, your bot no need to you know um, involve in the team activities in the team member groups if you uncheck it it won't come to the picture so even if you add if you write uh, you know write the code in you, in your bot but it's not handle maybe uh, you want to debug it first you can check this area scope okay you enable this option or not if not enable please enable it so your team should able to handle it like that personal one to one chat group chat to our to our more members so this three scope your bot should work you have to enable this one okay other option will come later my first focus here this team okay I, I, that's what i already enabled default i just go back to here and go to teams now i'm going to handle the uh, add the events here here we already uh, okay reaction added let it be there i don't want to disturb these two functions now i'm going to add the team members added Async def on team member added. So first self. Next argument is the team channel account. Here there is no member something like that. All come you know all the member information come to the team channel account. So that we have to uh, you know uh, define it. That's available in the bot schema bot builder schema dot uh, teams. So bot builder dot schema dot teams import team sorry yeah team channel account so there is a second argument maybe i will tell member member added this is come under um, team channel account okay third argument team team info that is a third argument okay uh, so here if you see um, new team member added this come team channel account which team handle it so if you want th th that uh, you know if you want those information that is available in the team info that's also available here teams info team sorry team info here you can define it maybe like um, team information team info and third or uh, sorry final argument is the turn context turn context that's it 
okay so here what i'm going to do i just loop it one by one maybe if multiple team members added just give the multiple information okay before that uh, there is a uh, okay you, you can take the scenario if you want to you know welcome each every one you can write the for each for loop and uh, loop one by one all the members uh, you know maybe uh, tell their names hello welcome uh, maybe vinoda something like that or you want to just give or you know complete welcome message okay my bot is uh, handling the you know uh, bill something like that you can give that only those information but here in this example i want to loop all the information okay that's the reason i am using that for loop and i'm uh, loop one by one in the member added function and inform uh, just message welcome message to everyone individually that's the reason i'm writing it so member in member added wait turn contacts dot send activity message factory dot text like welcome okay welcome uh maybe member your member dot name so i'm just uh, you know uh, send a welcome message and plus in order to i just add one more friend i am maybe i am just i am bot i am bot okay fine that's it save make sure there is no error yes no error now go back to here start the application started now go to the teams right now there is no message uh, we'll just confirm it whether application is working or not hello team event sample because i actually stopped and uh, restarted so make sure the you know message any point everything is updated or not properly it's taking time maybe we'll check it oh gone yeah it's not working i will i'll do one thing quickly i'll just stop this one get it started generate the new url copy and go to account settings here i just change the url save what well, some internet issue it's taking time yeah hopefully it's saved go back to here okay now we'll send the message ah okay one more mistake i did it uh, I, i should specify the to whom i should can if if you want to interact to the bot in teams group you have to specify at symbol and bot name so at here python uh, bot test hello so otherwise uh, bot cannot handle the uh, you know events yes you said hello yeah it's working so create it fine so now i'm going to add the one, uh, one uh, new member in this team add member first of all i check there is no member in the group yes no member you can add it uh, you can add here also but i don't want to i go back to my chat window from here i am adding it add member so that uh, we can quickly see the information so we know this is also one of the my organization organization account Uh, if you want to add maybe other you, uh, you know you are out of organization you cannot add it you you need some permissions within organization you can add it click add hopefully yes added close see here welcome we know i am bot so the username i am uh, we are taken from here uh, members dot add 
sorry members dot name and I, ju I just give the name I am bot okay so it's working new member added we can able to handle the events so next one is if I remove the event if I remove the member okay so how to handle that one just stop the application the same uh, the same one there is no difference all are same only the function name get differ that is instead of added we have to change to removed that's it uh, this maybe it will always come null I don't want to this one I just give the information like um, turn contacts dot send activity message factory remove the member removed from this group we are just give the information to other user in the chat window okay so one of the member has removed in this group okay like sorry save it restart now started go to our team again go to here manage team now oh sorry uh, one minute I think we can able to create delete it okay so not possible so I have to remove from here only if I click here remove come to here take time yes see here one of the member has removed from this group this is a removed teams uh, member removed function uh, fun functionality okay now what I'm going to do I'm adding one more uh, same uh, user add member okay I don't want to add it here just close this let it be there and I, I show one, one more functionality go to manage team here uh, settings mem team code you can copy this code okay go back to here general let it be there now I am going to my this chat uh, just refresh it so this is a we know uh, one more account I show now I added one uh, team member we know so that account this one so instead of uh, adding there uh, the user has voluntary request uh, voluntary they can uh, they can join our team okay so click the team with the information join uh, a team with the code so join team if you see once joined here you see welcome we know I am bot so the there are uh, here two scenarios working even admin can add the team members you can get the event plus if admin share the team code if user voluntary they are uh, adding that time also we can handle the events the, the same uh, remote also it will work if I go to here hopefully here is there. leave the team yes so here you cannot see the uh, removed uh, one of the member removed you cannot see it because you are out of the team but if you see here our team main team here you can see one of member has removed from this group okay the next one you are we are going to see rename suppose I want to rename my team name so that also we can able to handle it just go to the application stop it here yeah so next one is async def on team teams sorry teams wait teams team renamed activity first one first argument is a self okay second argument team info directly because here we are directly handling the team we are not come to the member you know member level if member level is coming we should add the uh, teams channel account here we need only the team info so team info 
final argument turn context okay wait and send activity message to factory dot text here we give the information hey your new team name super okay uh, this is available in the team info dot name that's it save it one more time compile go back here run it okay go to team click edit team so just remove in teams just python bot done wait for some seconds yes oh some problem the bot some issue is there that's the reason it's went to the cache block error block we'll see what is the error so now go to the application here you can see the info ah uh, okay got it so this is not required that's it yeah restart starter go to here then go to edit team teams done think no issues it will come in seconds yes it came so hey your new team name super so new team name okay that's it guys i i hope you understand uh, team members added team members removed and uh, finally team rename events okay thanks to all bye